are about to drive into... I can't see. Yep, here we go. It's a frosty one here in Texas this morning. Frosty like my hair. You coming? Yeah, you you got everything to make a sandwich? Oh, well, all right, that's not blown out at all, huh? It's another beautiful day. Another super beautiful day. I'm on a lake that I've never fished before out in East Texas, once again. We're gonna do something before we get out on the water because Mike is, uh, Mike's pretty excited right now. This is how we start our day off here. We're in the middle of nowhere, so we had to get, here's a knife. Oh, I probably shouldn't put it in my mouth. I'm about to stick it in some goober. <laughs> stick it in that goober, man. Who says they don't like watching food? It's gonna be an 18 minute how-to video, how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, you just get some goober. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mixing it up. Why would you, why? Not, why would you not mix it up? You don't mix it up. You oh, you don't mix, mix it, up. it up? Well, apparently I'm not really good at goobering. Well, you can do it either way. You know? I mean, it's, it is just peanut butter right. and jelly. Oh, yeah, look at that. Dude, you're not doing it right. Dude, I'm just slapping it on there. You're not doing it right, man. How are you not doing it right? It's literally goober. You gotta do the triple decker PB and J. Triple decker? Triple decker? Yeah. No way. Be an innovator here. That That's good? how you start a day right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Not as good as separate. Mm. This video sucks already. Nothing like my sandwich sandwich video. My sandwich video was bomb. You made an 18 minute video <laughs> on how to eat a sandwich. <laughs> it was a good video. All right. Oh. It probably helps how you install this, huh? What should we throw? What should we throw? Top water, top water, or moving bait? Moving bait. What are you gonna throw, Jimmy? Chatterbait? Uh, if that's what you'd like. Maybe. Sure. Yeah. Start off with that. Or throw throw something moving, I guess. I'll slow it down. Yeah. There's some out below me right now. There's some right back here. Yep. Yep. There's one. Yeah. Marked him on the graph, and he's right there. There's actually like four or five of them stacked up right there. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, he fell off. Calm down, calm down. Oh, first fish comes on a brush hog. Here we go. Little ledge out there. Saw about four or five of them stacked up, like literally right there when I just cruised over. So let's go ahead and give it another shot. There's one. Got him. I got him something that's over there. This current's actually stronger than it looks. No, this the current's very strong right here. Yeah, there's a ledge over there if you guys want to cast to it. Yeah, there was there's probably five or six fish stacked on it. Second fish of the day. Quick, quick, quick two fish. All right, all right, all right. It's already uh, about 400 times better than yesterday. It took me eight hours to catch one fish. It's taken 15 minutes to catch two. Water melon red is the deal. The dealio on this channel. A new hook on it, but it's kind of cool. We were just cruising down here and I had my front graph on. Like when this current, this current's moving like crazy, like almost like a river. Kind of like a river current because it's literally being pumped out right there. But and they're just stacked up on a ledge. See if we can pull some more out. Yep, there's another one. Got him. A whole bunch of them stacked right there. Yeah, man. There we go. Pulling them through right here. That's why. That's why you use your electronics. Use those tools. Man, this water's warm. All right, all right, all right, Jimmy. You gonna throw one of these on? There's ours. There we go. I got them all stacked up on that ledge. No. There's just a whole bunch of, they might, oh, it might be, a, yeah, he's a little bigger, I guess. Look at that. There we go. We're on something. Cast at that, nope, you're in the wrong spot. Cast at that buoy right there, and then it'll drift your bait this way, and you'll feel it on the bottom. First cast. Yeah. There you go. Right at that buoy. Yeah. Okay. I feel, feel good about my life. At least <laughs> over yesterday, I couldn't catch any fish, and now I put Jimmy on some fish, so. Yeah, I'd say telling you every time I hit that buoy and let it go this way, it, it's a fish every time. Cause there's like a ledge like right here. You saw it when you're going over it. 
and they're just stacked on the other side. There's another one. Oh no, we got each other. <laughs> I was like, that fish feels big. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, God, that fish feels good. Whoo, that fish feels good. I was a 250 pound man at the end of my line. <laughs> Look at that. What are the chances of that? Yeah, we caught hook to hook. Whoo, it's like butt to butt. I do two. We're doubled up. Doubled up. Jimmy's got one. I've got one. Ah. There you go. He hit that one hard. Did he? It was well, smaller than the other one. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> Make sure you guys go follow him. We're trying to get him to 10,000. He's at like 9,500 or something like that. Let's get a buddy of mine at 10K on, in, on YouTube. But today, today's goal is we're gonna, we could catch a bunch of these, could catch, could find a five stacked in here, which would be nice. See, there's some more down here in the graph. It's got a slow sink. Let me tie that on. I'm, I'm left-handed retrieve. Oh, shit. I'll be, I'll be, I'll look like it. You want to throw it here? Yeah, I'll throw it right there. I'm going to, I'll run, well, oh, shit. Uh, now we are moving. We're going, heading up the lake. Uh, I know you guys just saw me drop that dude's swim bait in the water. That was kind of a... Kind of an ass thing to do. Kind of sorry, sorry, Hunter. I just met Hunter there. He knew I was. He's a really cool, chill dude that throws swim baits tons. And uh, he handed me a swim bait, as you saw, and I pulled a parrot and dropped that son of a gun in the water. Well, we're heading way up north on this on this lake. Apparently, you can't haul balls on this lake because there's a bunch of deadheads that basically is hard as cement. You hit them, you're going to sink your boat. So we're just cruising, basically idling up to the top of this lake, and we're going to throw some frogs. Which, is, which would be fun. Jimmy, I don't, you've never caught a fish on a frog, have you? Yeah. Oh, you well, have? No, 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 you yeah. said that wasn't a frog. No, no, that wasn't a frog, no. So no, I have not. He's never caught a fish on the frog, so let's see if we can get him on a frog fish. And catch bigger fish. We did find that school on that ledge, which was pretty fun. It's pretty shell. Nope, 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 nope. They're in there. Oh. Told you they're in there. Huh? That was about a pound, but I just saw, I just, we spooked one because we were too loud. All right, time to punch some highs in here, boys. All right, we gotta make an adjustment. This isn't a heavy enough weight. This is like, I think this might be a half ounce. I need to put on like a, an ounce. All right, so we got on here, we got a big old, like probably an ounce flipping tungsten with a skirt on it. We're just gonna flip back in there because I couldn't get in with a, get into the hyacin directly. Oh yeah, you can see where that fish missed there. I gotta grab a new one. So what I was saying is I couldn't get into the hyacinth with that little weight. So all I really care about is getting down in there. Either getting that reaction bite of it coming through the hyacinth, and then I'll just pull it up and down. You guys will see. I actually learned this when I was in Florida, so I'm gonna trim this off a little bit as well. Like I always do, I gotta manscape this thing. A little bit of a manscape. Now let's get, let's get in here, let's get one. Probably helps if I don't have this all tangled up, huh? I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna head down these highs and just flip. I think there's a whole bunch stacked in here, I really do. Cause that's, it's a pretty easy way to fish. It's just, yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta realize like what is an actual bite and what's like you hitting like a limb or something. Cause sometimes they'll pick it up and it'll just be heavy. And sometimes it'll be like a noticeable super thump. Like that right there, I just got picked up and dropped. Like a hundred percent just got picked up and dropped. A lot of times you'll pull it out of the fish's mouth too. Like you'll lift up too hard and you'll notice it'll just be way too heavy. But I love this kind of fishing, it's so fun. Here you go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, giant. Here we go. That is how you do it right there. Ho, 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 ho. There we go. I saw him come and swim right at it. There we go. Love that. God, I love that feeling right there. We were both recording. That was fun. Oh, there we go. I know. Well, I was had to hurry up. I didn't want him to get me wrapped up more in the highest. And that was awesome, guys, right there. That was amazing. Flipped in there. I saw all these pads right here start moving. I just waited. 
and he crushed it. Amazing. I'm gonna get a. I'll get a weight. You want me to get a weight on this one? I can tell you about what he weighs. I think about a five. I think it's about a five or a six or so. So I'm gonna wait for you guys. I think it's about a five, somewhere around there. Let me see it, Jimmy. Let's let's get this sucker weighed. Oh no. It's a six ten. Six ten. It's a six ten. Yeah, it's a six ten. There you go. Here's a six pound ten ounce fish right there for you guys. It's pretty good. Cool. I didn't really think it was that big. Let's get this sucker back in the water. Ah, cool. There we go. Possibly, maybe, who knows? We may have come on to something here. Glad. I, I was kind of surprised that thing weighed six ten. I was thinking like five to six. Maybe I guess maybe I should start weighing fish a little bit more often. That was cool. Like I said, all I could see was these pads over here. They started going, and I just waited. Just popped it one more time. Just waited. Pipe. Pipe. Now it's Mike's turn. Ten pounder. Ten pounder. You want to try doing this? No, you're good. I don't know. I, I. Oh. 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 I just. Oh, I was. I'm sorry, buddy. That was a. That's a hook set. He wasn't coming out. I could have let him swim. Sorry, I didn't mean to bang you against the boat like that, man. If I stick one more, I'm going to call Mike and be like, hey, tell him to come back over here. Weird. There's another one. That was instantaneously. All right, I'm going to give Mike a call and tell him to come back here because I found some fish. If you guys have never punched for fish before, you really need to give it a shot. You need to get one of these really heavy action rods, though. This is the one I'm using today. I haven't talked to my rods in a long time. A lot of people have been asking me. This is a seven foot six Defender rod from, uh, <clears throat> from Favorite. Uh, I'll link it down below. I use this rod a lot, like a lot, a lot. I caught that 10 pounder on this rod. I just caught that seven on this rod or the 610 on this rod. I use this rod a lot. It's one of my go-to rods for when I need to, need to get into the thick stuff. It'll be linked down below for you guys. This needs to be changed out. Did a real dumb thing. Caught another fish. Didn't have it myself recording one bit. I just pulled up to a different little hyacinth mat. Got that one. This is a really, really, really good day of fishing in comparison to yesterday. Yesterday was, well, yesterday was garbage in comparison to today. Thank God that these fish are over that front. Instant, like right in there, like that. There he is. There we go, there we go. That was a beautiful fish. Whoa, hooked up on my camera here. This is this is an amazing day. I'm loving this so far. Okay. Yeah, I, like I said, I heard him popping. Oh, another one. We're trying to get Jimmy on one right now. He's trying to get him on his very first ever flipping fish. I really do think they're stacked in here. I said this at the very beginning. I think there's a ton of fish that are between two and three pounds that are just loaded up. Well, it looks like it. Yep. It also could just be maybe it's a confidence thing, but. They are schooled up though. Have you seen them over here schooled up on that point over there? In feed or no? No, they were schooled up. I was sitting over there. Re Yeah, uh, after yesterday, I gotta be on my A game. <laughs> yeah. Mid conversation. Yeah. Another one. There he is. That's Jimmy's fish. That's the one that just hit yours. <laughs> That's funny. Jimmy's like, oh, I just had a, one run with it in that hole right there. Like, I'm real confident right now that I'm actually going to link in with, like, I don't know, my big fish tingling senses are just, they're just going off right now. The radar is pinging. Like, I am, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm in the mood. I can feel it. I'm in the zone. The spidey my spidey senses are just going off. 
bouncing this swim bait off every pad stem there is. Oh, did you see that? First cast. Very first cast I got blew up on with this thing. Look at that. Very first cast. So, so we've been flipping these like normal because he's trying to catch one. But back in here, this reminds me of Florida so much. And I just randomly just saw fish started chasing bait like back over in here. So I just thought it'd be smart to throw one of these and clearly it might work. Let's see if we can link in with one. There could be a roamer. There could be a giant roamer just doing its thing back in there trying to be fat and sloppy. I need to replace that thing. Yeah, I got plenty of those. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? Dude, they're munching. Right over here, they're, um, look in this box right here. He got it. Oh, he got, oh, fuck. That was a big one, that was a big one. Dang it, I, dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a big one. Son of a gun, guys. I don't know what... That sucks. Oh, my God. Dude. In the fucking danger. You got him. Oh, God. Oh, fishing. This stuff's thick. This stuff's thick. Look at this. Man, that was another good one. We're fishing in some real thick stuff here. Look at that. I might have set the hook just a tad too early on him. Right you having a lot of problems? What's going on back there? Well, we got a long, long idle out of here. We are back. This is it. This is the end. If you guys want to see these two, this guy right here, the Asian Invasion and Billy, you guys want to see them catch, because it was like a totally different video for us, because I caught a decent amount of fish and Mike was screaming at the end of the day, so you guys know, you guys know Mike linked up with some fish. If you guys want to watch that video, go look at the link below, because, well, it's a one rod video, so you know what happens in that. So, other than that, you know what we're going to do? He's gone. I'll see you guys uh, here tomorrow morning, same time, every single day. You want to end it for me? I want to end it with a drop kick. Oh, you want to drop kick it? Drop kick it. I'm Do not going to kick the camera, though. Okay. What? <laughs> <God. laughs>